Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading again today is from the Large Catechism by Martin Luther on the third article of the Creed. The conclusion is this. These articles of the Creed, therefore, divide and separate us Christians from all other people on earth. Even if all people outside Christianity, whether heathen, Turks, Jews, or false Christians and hypocrites, believe in and worship only one true God, they still do not know what his mind toward them is and cannot expect any love or blessing from him. Therefore they abide in eternal wrath and damnation. For they do not have the Lord Christ, and besides are not illumined and favored by any gifts of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2, Hebrews 6. From this you can see that the creed is a doctrine quite different from the Ten Commandments. For the commandments teach what we ought to do, but the creed tells what God does for us and gives to us. Furthermore, apart from this, the Ten Commandments are written in all people's hearts. Romans 2. However, no human wisdom can understand the creed. It must be taught by the Holy Spirit alone. 1 Corinthians 2. The teaching of the commandments, therefore, make no Christian. For God's wrath and displeasure abide upon us still, because we cannot keep what God demands of us. But the creed brings pure grace and makes us godly and acceptable to God. For by this knowledge we have love and delight in all God's commandments. Romans 7 Here we see that God gives himself to us completely. He gives all that he has and is able to do in order to aid and direct us in keeping the Ten Commandments. The Father gives all creatures, the Son gives his entire work, and the Holy Spirit bestows all his gifts. Let this be enough about the creed to lay a foundation for us so that we may not be burdened. Then, if we understand the substance of it, we may, then, we may then afterwards strive to gain more and learn the scriptures and ever grow and increase in understanding. Ephesians 4, 2 Peter 3. For as long as we live here, we shall daily have enough to do to preach and learn this. We pray on Thursdays for the church and her pastors, for teachers, deaconesses, and other church workers, for missionaries and all who serve the church, for fruitful use of the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. We pray also for those who've asked our prayers, especially Charles and Steve, Shana, Bill and Connie, Cindy, Darren, Deacon and Ed, Ed and Graham and Jackson, Jacob, Jerry and Jim. 
Jim, John, and Judy, Kate and Greg, Lisa, Melanie and Neil, Rachel, Sarah, Sue Ellen, Tessa, Walter, Zach, Michael and Danielle missionaries, Kimber, Eloise, and Emmeline of Faith Preschool, and Trinity Lutheran Church in Ellettsville, her pastor and her saints. We also pray for Eileen as she celebrates her birth today and give thanks to God for her. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you've kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We go joyfully to our work this day. We will be streaming next on Sunday morning at 9 a.m., where we will have in-person service at Faith Lutheran Church, 6000 West State Road 46. And we'll be celebrating the 60th anniversary of the founding of Faith Congregation this Sunday in the 9 a.m. service with a guest preacher and special music. We invite you to join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday. <laughs>